Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, August 17th, 2022. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. And sorry, I need to have the camera off today. Thursday, August 18th will be our third quarter moon. So if you're getting out early in the morning, you'll see it looking beautiful in the southeast sky. The sun right now is pretty active with a couple sunspots putting on a show pointing just about straight at us. Looking at drought, things are getting even better around the state. You can look especially along the Front Range and down here around Pueblo and in the mountains. Uh, we are drought free for some strips of area and here on Longmont we're just in the moderate drought area. Nationally, things in the entire west have gotten better with this continual plume of moisture. Things in Texas are worse, but rain is coming to them too. So here we go to this week. You can see a lot lighter colors. And that's why we've had more rain and more rain. Again, many places over two inches in the mountains and in the south, and even some moisture making it out into the western part of the state. Looking at the progression of severe weather climatology going into the second week of August and the third week of August, we still have a chance, still possible. It's decreasing though in uh, probable of severity. Looking at Wednesday, we have no chance of uh, convection or thunderstorms north of Denver. For Thursday, high and dry again. For Friday, a chance of storms returns, but the marginal risk of severe weather is way out here on the plains. And for Saturday, a chance of storms, but nothing severe. Looking nationally, we've got. Uh, I forgot to turn the radio off. Let me do that real quick. Sorry. Technical problems, but I can't go back and re record. We got to just plow through here. So, for Wednesday, we have dry conditions in the northern part of the state. There's our dry conditions again over much of the state except the four corners. Arizona continues to get lots of precipitation, and that continues on Friday. With this front draped here, we just don't have the moisture coming over uh, very easily. This is cooler, more stable air. And for Saturday, uh, same thing. we still got this little front draped here, slightly cooler air. We do have, going with the ridge in the west, we're going to take a look at that in a moment, fires up here are going to be sending smoke down. So we're going to see some air quality alerts over the next few days, <coughs> and you'll see a haze. There might even be times you can't see the mountains because of the smoke. We've been largely smoke free this year so that's very nice. Alright, taking a look at the ensemble uh, forecast. We have temperatures below at least in the lower part of the normal range. Normal is going from 87 to 85 and I had to put the line above the graph. 85 to 55 for low so you can see the normal nighttime temperature is dropping pretty uh, significantly. Bone dry for a couple days here at the beginning of the forecast period and then uh, sort of the end of the weekend weekend we have a chance of showers coming back. It dries out a little bit more precipitation later on. So we have this ridge in the west and that's bringing the smoke down and the cooler air that's stabilizing us. The cool air is going to go down and settle into Texas and the southern plains and the south. It's going to be pretty interesting because they've had a very hot summer so far. So a couple notable tent poles in the forecast before we look at the animation is Thursday evening with a high almost over Colorado. We have the north flow though on this side of the high and a big ridge out west, big trough in the east and the dry air is very obvious. The browns here are below normal precipitatable water and the moisture continues in the southwest and the western states. Looking at Monday, the highs just moved a little bit to sit over the top of us. That's that next dry period. And another trough is kind of passing to our east and digging down. And looking at the moisture, yeah, it's still pretty dry in the north east part of the state. So let's take a look at all this in motion. Just keep an eye on this ridge. We've got the ridge center up here in Montana for a little bit. Kind of a secondary ridge down here. And the big overall ridge itself just keeps 
rolling around right over the top of our heads. So that makes it hard to get uh, significant amounts of um, convection, especially off of the mountains. So yep, the ridge is still here. It's in Utah now, Four Corners area, Grand Canyon area, Las Vegas, uh, going out to next Friday. Looking at temperatures, we are right on the edge of pretty warm stuff out here for nighttime and morning temperatures, cool in the afternoon because of the moisture. But look at this blob of cold sitting to our southeast, and it just kind of settles in over Oklahoma and then down into Texas. Here we are Tuesday, Wednesday, you can see the mountain storms in the afternoon. It's this unusual cold. That's with that northerly flow around the ridge to the west. And because of that, we just keep getting dry air pushed in to the northeast part of the state. And so we got moisture not far away. Sometimes it tries to surge over. There's Sunday, so we get maybe a little more storm activity on Sunday. And then the dry air is back. We've got moisture even north of us in Wyoming and Montana, but the dry air is not far away, kind of flowing into the eastern part of the state and on the plains by the end of next week. So storm-wise, not much to see. I'm probably going to cut this a little short, but the mountains at least get uh, precipitation. That's good. I have heard that um, water levels at Lake Mead are rising some. I'm going to have to look uh, deeper to see how much. Maybe I can bring that to you next week. But yeah, nothing here. It's just dry through next Wednesday. So over the next five days, northeast is missing out on much in the way of precipitation because of all that uh, north flow and dry air. Uh, 10 days, hence that things change and the plume of moisture might be coming back later next week or next weekend uh, into the state. So we start pretty cool, 80s on Wednesday, just get to the 90s, and then we hover back down in the 80s, upper 70s on Saturday, and then upper 80s through the beginning of next week with a small chance of precipitation may be picking up next Tuesday. So kind of quiet, kind of normal, uh, and kind of dry. Frequent weather updates can be found at Longmont Leader and BroomfieldLeader.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.